Okay. Are we doing this? I'll try first. Open the door. Slowly. I'll put up an image and walk in. Yeah, by now we're probably recognized on sight. Um, if you need anything, I'll be out here. Oh, right, um, the knife. This shall be a simple matter. This should be enough. Alright, well, once you're done, I'll just close the door behind you. Hello, may I have some service? What can I do for you? Greetings! I was wondering if you could fashion me one of those uh, hope knives I've seen everywhere. Really fashionable. Those aren't fashion. They were saving a friend from being carved open by invaders. Oh, how ghastly. Still, I'd like to have one. Fitting in is quite important. If you want to fit in, you'll have to move here and live through a raid. Looking the part is meaningless. Oh, okay. In that case, I'll take one as a souvenir. Five gold pieces. That expensive. A dagger is just two. Yes, this is a smaller blade. To a citizen, they're made free. To anyone else, I charge in full. Don't worry, the quality will be my best. Okay. Can I get in any requests? Such as? Well, I was thinking something cleaner and better than this. Where did you get that? Found it. Didn't know where to turn it in, so I kept it for now. Do you know who owns it? Uh No one in Trinau would keep their hope knife in such a state. But that is a hope knife, nonetheless. Well, maybe a closer look? This is... Hmm... You say you found this. Y y y yuppers this particular knife is about a decade old, but is one of mine. Looks like someone left her now, was killed, their knife taken and abused, abandoned, and then you found it. As for making a new one, I can be finished within the hour. Wow, so fast. An order was cancelled. That seems odd for such a special knife. He doesn't need it anymore. Why not? Why are you so curious? I'm naturally curious. But if this is too much, then how about I ask about yourself instead? I'm busy. Come on, now. I've never seen such a strong and beautiful half-orc before. So it's true. Trinau is a haven for your kind. Trinau is a haven for any seeking refuge in this dangerous land. But for a half-orc who looks just like the raiders, I would have thought there'd be tension from the other races. But clearly you're trusted enough to make their most prized weapons. You're so lucky to have come this far. You seem to be under a false impression. All who live here do so under the same constant threat. People may get anxious or paranoid, but when the arrows fly and we're all striving to survive, being a half-orc or a human won't matter. In that split moment, when they have to choose between taking the hand of a half-orc citizen or a chance a raider's axe alone, they'll trust their fellow townsfolk every time. I bet you're talking from experience. To be there for your fellows, you're so strong. Even after a raid, when I'm sure there's some finger point. Gah! I don't care for your questions, Traveler. You can believe there's a town-wide paranoid trust between a half-orcs and everyone else. I don't give a shit. But don't think this is particular to Trinau. Every town has problems like these. Go somewhere else to spread your rumors. I won't stand for your attempt to find rifts and profit off them. Beat it. Uh, um. uh, what happened to your hand? <laughs> Tried to put her at, at ease at the opposite effect. Maybe we should just stop. Agreed. Maybe take a rest, then head to the graphs. Yeah, at least she didn't stab you. Uh, Oh, no. She still has the knife. <sighs> then we can't leave yet. Your turn. What am I supposed to do? She'll be on guard. Another traveler heading in would be suspicious. She's extremely sharp. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, fine. Um, now, bell cursed? Risky. 
but he may be the only one of authority to get the knife back. Fortunately, he seems to rarely speak and has a common enough sounding voice. No special features. This may work. I'll say I've not been feeling well since my brother's death. Should be enough to explain my voice. Alrighty then, how does he look? Uh, I think I have it. Try not to kill over while I'm gone. I'll let the champ know you abandoned your dear friend in his time of need. She'd remarked that you should have just sat down and bandaged your hand instead of pushing yourself to stand. You can take care of yourself. It's not like you're unconscious. I'm barely awake as it is. See? Take a seat. I'll be right back. Perhaps she'll sheath the hope knife in his hand. Pardon the intrusion, but I need to speak with you. Oh. I'm investigating my brother's death. Even though I've not felt well since discovering him this morning, I'm taking responsibility in finding out the truth. I heard it was a suicide. My father's become a bit paranoid. He thinks foul play is afoot. And rather than have him round up all the half-orcs and interrogate them, I'd rather do this peacefully. You managed to convince him to hold off? For a brief time, yes. Then, let's get to what I know, shall we? First, Kest has never spoken with confidence. Second, he's half an inch taller. Third, his hair tends to clump just a little. Fourth, he always knocks. Fifth, he has never stood up to Jagran Graf. He can't. Sixth, he wouldn't go around asking questions about an apparent suicide. Would spread rumors of foul play and the people would, as your opulently illusioned friend put it, point fingers. Seventh, he'd be on duty at this time, so would drop by my home instead. This is a rather public place, after all. Eighth, attempt to deceive me again, and I will ensure the world's credious leather armor has your name. Sorry. What do you want? Scholar. How no one else has come into Drenau since you two arrived the day before yesterday. This hope knife is over a decade old, yet has day-old blood. It must be the one used to kill Roderick, especially since the other one lied about finding it. And if you have it, then Curse likely asks you outsiders to check on things. I just told you what would happen if a defender investigated. We were tasked with that. We just wanted to know whose knife it was. And that constituted the other one attempting to get close to me. Uh... You know, any small amount of background research would have told you how terrible of an idea that was. To hit on a married woman. When do a member of the council know this? And she is an actual wizard. I, I, I'm a sorcerer. So a failed wizard. After all this, just going to smudge my counter with your forehead. Ugh. No wonder you chose to use magic on your whims. Not exactly studious, are you? No prep beforehand, just wing it. I have work to do. Just ask your questions already. I hate people with such weakly forged confidence. We, we need the knife. Take it. Why couldn't you have just said your true business? We, we didn't know you could be trusted. So you really had no idea who I was. Kes must be desperate to trust you two. Investigating in secret on his own would have been better, despite the risks. We, we, we've learned a lot so far. Even know who the killer... And yet you're here instead of telling him. We need to be certain. And thought you might recognize this. We had to be thorough and at least check. This isn't something we can just bring to curse. It's too... Uh, awkward. How? Okay. I'll tell you, but... Well, I don't need to tell you to keep this a secret. It's obvious, and you're quite sharp and sensible. But it is fairly unbelievable. Unless we can prove it without a doubt. Go on. You've verified the nice age, and we both know its owner has no care for it. In fact, she despises Drenau, her former home. An exile. Yes, uh, one you might know. Just how close are you with Cursed Grath? Childhood friends. So both Roderick and his brother managed to peel away from Dragrin's and Omas' prejudice. So you're aware. Well, we just did come from an altercation with him. He attempted to arrest Roderick's lover, thinking this was revenge for breaking up with her. Chagrin was clearly not thinking straight. 
Even the defenders with him knew it was hogwash. But Hector managed to reason him down with facts. Poked a hole in just about every point Jackman made. Now we're due to report our findings with him. That's quite impressive. You're not completely incompetent. Good on your feet, but lacking reconnaissance. We're doing that tomorrow, stealthily. Hmm. So who is responsible for Roderick's murder? Malira Graf. You're certain? We've seen her in disguise. She didn't do a good job hiding her scar. She's here with her husband, who just bought a house in town. Sharing it with others who are definitely up to no good. The new residents. Doc Tani's cousins. They're not cousins. Malira's husband provided diluted oil of Taggett. She slipped it into Roderick's food and used her knife to kill him, and is probably hiding in that house. I doubt she returned just for this, but we don't know why yet. Tomorrow, we hope to finish this off by following Doctani. Since your wife is on the council, perhaps have someone watch their home, not a defender. Your name? Cliff. You are definitely the Taka. I believe you, and will see to your suggestion. Anything else you need from me? What can you tell me of Dotani? Has he suffered here? There are a number of townsfolk who see the half-orcs and naturally remember everything bad the orcs have done. They blame us half-orcs because they can't go after the true villains beyond the walls. Mm-hmm. Even some defenders have succumbed to this. Marie Graf, Jagrin's wife, was killed by an orc. Every half-orc he sees likely reminds him, and it influences his decisions. His upbringing doesn't help, but, well, it's a repeating cycle that passes from one generation to the next. As I figured. After a raid, the half-orcs are subject to rumors, whispered paranoia, and fights. Most aren't allowed to serve as defenders, unless they're proven their loyalty. Even then, some non-defenders will raise a stink. That's terrible. Altogether, though, it's not too big of a deal. There's good times and bad times, but we're still here, together. The only reason half-orcs are in true now in the first place is because some orcs and humans got together and lived here, fighting against their own kind. Race is altogether immaterial. Bonds are what matter. Regarding Doctani, he would certainly have gone through some rough times, but we of Trenau are strong. I don't know about any specific incidents. If he's hiding his hatred towards Trenau, he's done a good job of it. That answers my questions. Where can we find him? I don't know his exact address, but I recall it being up by the Calves. Many half orcs like to live up there. Then that's where we'll start. And again, we're going to do it stealthily. With disguises. Best you do. I have work to finish here. If you need something, Agnes and I live straight up the path in mid now. We'll keep that in mind. Chiari also knows Roderick was poisoned and murdered by Hater Trenau, uh, Cham as well. Well, well Ch Cham was there when Curse asked for our help, and Chiari when we looked over the body. At any rate, these two are also in the know. Should anything happen? Likely Jagran Graf. You can't. I'm not happening. We're leaving details out with him, but we can't avoid it. He requested we report in after talking him down. He'll learn his son was murdered, and that we'll be following a likely accomplice, but have to keep this quiet or else they'll get away. That's what we will tell him. The disguises should help too. Uh, we'll have to dress up and sneak out of the rabbi house before dawn. Good. Make your plans. Drop by tomorrow before you start tailing to Tawny. I'll have something for you. Will do. Thanks for the help, Sarah. <laughs> What's with you? Got the knife and a new ally. I don't see anything broken. Did you really give in to torture before she could start? Actually, she's quite sensible. We had a talk, and now we have Cursed, Jam, Jari, Brynja, and Sarah all with us. A nice little group we got going. Do they have better health benefits? It'll be better in a few hours, at worst by tomorrow morning. Oh, we need to drop by here before dawn. So she can whack us with a fire poker before heating it. She's not gonna hurt us. 
and she smacked your hound and must have been for doing something you shouldn't. We have one stop remaining. Jagrin. Let's not tarry. I thought so.